Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. Once again, flowing with the race of manufacturers to produce micro FPV racing quadcopters. In this video, I have a micro FPV racing quadcopter that I'm gonna introduce. So far previously, I have reviewed a whole lot of these micro FPV racers. And we are talking about a category that comes with a tiny radio. So these are toy grade FPV racers or micro FPV quadcopters which come with their own radio system. We are not talking about those brushless systems coming out day by day, okay? So far, holding its position really tight, top of the list, we have Ishin E011 micro FPV toy grade, micro FPV racing quadcopter, which has plenty of power, plenty of punch, and plenty of flight time. So far, this is the bestest in its categories according to my own reviews. And now Fury B F36 has taken the game towards the next level by providing us a DIY buildable kit version of Fury B F36S. Let's check it out and let's see what makes it different compared to all these other toy grade quadcopters. One thing for sure that makes it different is that it doesn't come with a radio. So how are you gonna fly it? That is the question that is going to be answered very, very soon when we take a look at this kit sitting right here. All right, so this is what came inside the box for the Fury B F36S DIY Micro FPV Racing Quadcopter Kit. Now it's time I answer the question, what makes it different than the other Micro FPV Racing Quadcopter in this size category? Well, the difference is right here. This bag has an F3 flight controller. So now we are not talking about those little, little flight controllers that come with all the other quads and are in standard for all these quadcopters. Right now we have here an F3 flight controller, SP Racing F3 flight controller, which is actually pre-configured with PID settings for this quadcopter. So let's take it outside the box and take a quick look at this uh, custom version of uh, F3 flight controller, which is an SP Racing F3 flight controller. Check this out. So this is the customized version of SP Racing F3 flight controller for Fury B, for Fury B F36S quadcopter. Now this is preloaded with the PID settings from the manufacturer for you to just install and configure for you to just install and start flying your quadcopter after configuring, configuring your radio system. But again, it is an SP Racing F3, so you can see a small micro USB port right here. So you can run clean flight or beta flight to configure the PIDs according to your own taste or according to your own FPV flying style, which is a very, very good thing. However, I'm worried about the power system right here. Will the power system be able to take all those tweak or the aggressive flying style? We are going to tweak using the F3 flight controller or not? Well, that is a question that will be answered as per time. When after, after we build it and fly it, we will be able to see how good it is. Okay, so the big question answered, we have the F3 flight controller in this, which makes it different. Now, the other thing that makes it different, of course, is that it's a DIY kit for you to enjoy the pleasures of building your own micro FPV racing quadcopter. For those who do not want to get something that flies right outside the box, for those who love building, tinkering, and want to take the things from very beginning. All right, so these are the differences. Let's get back to the unboxing. So we have two rubber bands and a F3 flight controller. We have a user manual in Chinese and English we have a motor propeller tool okay we have a double-sided tape a USB charger for battery but there is no battery come on come on those batteries are really difficult to come by I mean look at this frame here anyway so we have four motors we have a little cable that we will solder on the micro flight controller right here be very careful now now this is getting interesting you need to have soldering skills as well we have a small frame right here which is built uh, which is made of abs material so they said it's uh, sturdy and strong we have propellers two sets and we have a tiny fpv system so this tiny little fpv system is running an 800 tv line fpv camera and a 25 milliwatt video transmitter 5.8 ghz 
40 channels. All right, so you will have to solder your power cable to it and install uh, the camera system all by yourself and make sure to power the camera system using this F3 flight board. Now this SP Racing F3 flight controller, the custom flight controller, has a built-in receiver available for DSM, FreeSky and FlySky. I hope I got FreeSky version because I'm running a Tyrannus radio. Now for the frame they said that it's a, uh, you know, ABS material, tough frame, unbreakable. I'm not much worried because I can now create these frames all by myself using my newest 3D printer sitting right there. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support to watch my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.